Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at true police forces across the world. And by true police forces, I mean cops, real cops. Unlike our too busy to catch crims as the virtue signalling and arresting thought crimes. The core is one and I can behold the tide. These cops need to be applauded as heroes. Now we all have seen our useless, lower bar, lower class police forces. They stumble around a culture war they know very little about and making it worse tenfold in the process in my honest opinion. So if any cops are watching, firstly, let me say shame on you for what you've done to law and order in this country. Not just you, obviously it's your leaders as well and their leaders and their leaders etc. But you're part of it. And don't use just following orders. Nobody believes that sort of a line. It's not been believed since it was tried to be used in Nuremberg. All you need to do, police, if you're listening, is just listen to these brave men and women of a true police force. One that shames you. <laughs> As we've seen, our leaders are turning into authoritarian dictators, aren't they, everyone? And they're all competing for Twat Waffle of the Year awards. And I've got to be honest, it looks like Boris is probably going to win that award. Well, here's the story. Cops in Switzerland have threatened, if we're ready for this, to stop enforcing the dreaded Lurgy measures if they become unpopular with, and I quote, its citizens. How refreshing is it to see real men and women standing up for what's right, everyone? They said in a statement, if the measures were to conflict with the general opinion of the population, disproportionately limiting their fundamental rights, many police officers would no longer be willing to apply them. Great words, aren't they? Obviously, the FSFP, which is the Swiss Federation of Police Officers backed the ones that are there to fight for to get paid to fight for. You would think, wouldn't you? Well, no, they didn't. They said in a statement that that statement doesn't represent all cops of the 26,000 police officers and therefore, are we ready? Doesn't count. They also issued a statement themselves culminating in, are we ready for this? An officer who refuses to enforce the law can be punished. So threats. Sounds very familiar this, doesn't it? You do as you're told or. You do this or. You do that or. You see what I mean about authoritarian? Even the Swiss Federation of Police Officers are not standing by the people they're supposed to re represent. I'd like to say this. Your threats, FSFP, will not work. If they hold this position, your threats prove them correct and you dictator. And this isn't all, everyone. I'm, I did say there's a couple of police forces that are actually starting to stand up for what's right. In Ontario, Canada, I'm not too sure if you were aware, but the police rejected new powers given by the provincial government that would have allowed them to stop any motorist or pedestrian and demand to know where they live and why. Papers, please! That sounds like, doesn't it? And why they were not at home. So there are true coppers in the world, just not in our nations, eh? The only ones that are in our nation are too worried about virtue signalling and painting the faces and going on parades and protests and skateboarding with Extinction Rebellion and dressing the cars up with expensive liveries. Meanwhile, we've got people running around all of our major cities, introducing each other to something that could also be described as a jibby jabby, and it's got nothing to do with the lurgy whatsoever. So they're too busy doing other things. Also, non-crime hate incidents. Is that if that's not a waste of time and resources, I don't know what is. Meanwhile, the rest of the rest of the world, police are starting to stand up for what is truly right, and that is freedoms and our rights and human rights as citizens of our nations. Hold the line, Swiss cops. Hold the line. The world support you, don't we, everyone? I hope that the threat just seals it for the, the Swiss police and they refuse to, to do it whatsoever. And I hope that then becomes a ripple effect across the, across the world. Fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, everyone. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.